and welcome back to the channel. On this video I'm going to be writing the Lyric Graffiti as you see it right there and I want to talk about something on the Lyric Graffiti that I don't talk about too often and I think on this video I am going to and that is the on-road off-road switch. So if you can see right here I'm pointing to it right there that gray switch there that is the on-road off-road and when it's pushed in it's on road and when it's out like it is right now it's off road so off road of course will allow you to go beyond 20 miles per hour and on road will not allow you to go beyond 20 but I shouldn't say that because it does go a little bit past 20 depending on what pedal assist level you have the bike at so right now I have it in pedal assist one So let's do a little ride and show you. So this is in pedal assist one. We're gonna go down a little slight hill here. So I'm now at full throttle. It's very gradual to get up to speed. Uh, so this would be great if you're on a bike path, shared bike path or pedestrian slash bike path or trail, and you didn't wanna go very fast. As you can see, it's holding right now at about 18 miles per hour that's just throttle no pedaling now it's 17 but uh, uh so this is what they would call the legal switch i would call it like legal or illegal for those of you that are real sticklers with having to be right within depending on where you're at 20 miles per hour or in this state it's 28. Um, but as far as throttle only, it's supposed to be 20 miles per hour, so this will keep you in that 20 miles per hour range. As right now, you can see I'm going 14. So let's go up to uh, pedal assist level 2. See, no cars coming. Okay, so let's go up to pedal assist level 2, and I'll show you that. I don't think it's going to be much different in speed. So I got it set for five pedal assist levels. You can adjust the assist levels on this bike all the way up to nine levels if you want. I have it uh, from one to five or zero to five. And zero of course means no pedal assist at all. So pedal assist two is not really any different. Uh, maybe just a slight. It may get up to speed, I think, just a little bit faster. And now, let's go up one more. We're going down a slight hill here, but not very much. You wouldn't call it much of a hill. It's just a little slight. So we're up to three now, and with that little extra, you can see now, What a difference that made. Yeah, I gotta put it back in street. Okay, so what a difference that made right there. So here we are again. It definitely has a, a more pickup uh, off the uh, start. A lot more get up and go in pedal assist three. And let's see how fast it gets up to. So yeah, this one's gonna get you to the 20 or slightly past it looks like. 21 and the or 22 it's now at and this is pretty accurate so if you want to keep it kind of in the legal then you probably want to be around that pedal assist two or three and uh, let's go up to we're going to go down a little hill here but let's go up to four stop for that guy or slow down for that guy and four is pretty similar to three I think each one you go up gives you a little more faster takeoff and uh, 
There's one more level to go and we're gonna do that one right now. Let's go to it five. The one thing it'll do if you do ride in the uh, street on street mode, to me it's the opposite. I think this should be the off street mode like for uh, trails and paths and the on off road should be on road because you really need to go a little bit more. So there, it's just a slight over 20. And uh, we're gonna turn right here. So this one will conserve your battery more for sure. Uh, that's another uh, good reason to use this one. As long as you're pretty much riding on level ground, I would use this one if you wanna conserve battery. And uh, especially if you're just riding on streets like this that don't have a very fast speed limit. This will definitely get you a little over 20. I think I've had it up as high as 25 before in Pedal Assist 5, and that's on the legal street mode. Uh, but that was going on a slight downhill, I think. But 20, it'll, it'll keep you around the low 20s, between 20 and 25. So that's how uh, you keep it legal and illegal, or as some people call it, illegal uh, street. But once it gets going, uh, it goes pretty good here. Let's try it here again, full speed. And this is on pedal assist five. It's uh, pulling uh, 624 watts, and it's steady at 624 watts. As you can see right there, I even touched 27 miles an hour. So yeah, it basically will get you just about to, uh, just about to the uh, class three, 28 miles per hour. Not quite, but just about there. And that's in the uh, on-road mode. Off-road mode is gonna get you in the, at least 35, 36. This is a little slight downhill, very slight, but this is gonna pull it to be 20 something. Yeah, this, uh, once this gets going, it's really smooth and uh, it has a little get up and go. So it seems like it maxes out when you do full throttle on the street mode uh, at 624 watts. And that's what, whatever it's gonna give you at 624 watts, that's how much, uh, that's how much you're gonna get. So whatever speed you can get out of that with 52 volt. See that, it just maxes out at 624. I suppose someday I should do a a range test to see how far I can get on the street mode or on road uh, mode and see how far you can get because if it's only using 624 watts maximum you should be able to get pretty good distance. And once it gets going, like I say, it's good to go here. But if you get to hills, which I didn't go on any on this ride really, uh, that's where it's gonna uh, start to really drag and lag. That's where you're gonna notice it. So that's when you'd probably wanna go to the off street off-road mode. So there we go. I wanted to give a little demonstration of the on-road mode on this ride. I hope you enjoyed that and hope it gives you a little bit of idea of how that works on the on-road. Maybe next time I'll talk about the off-road.
and that's the one I always ride at off road. I, I max it out. I put it on off road uh, at level five usually anyway. And uh, the reason for that is I want to have get up and go whenever I want it. It's there to hit the throttle. And that's whether I'm going up a hill or going through an intersection. I just like to have the, the power and then just work that accordingly with the throttle. And just, that's just how I ride. But hey, that's going to do it for this video. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you very much for hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.